Hey, welcome back everybody. Uh, it's been a while since I put up any videos, not really much going on and just been kind of busy. Uh, but anyway, I want to do a quick one on how to do your first wash, soak, whatever you want to call it, on a pair of raw denim. All right, the pair I'm going to wash today are a pair of Brave Star, uh, I think 13 and a half ounce comb mill. I think they were called the blue collar line. I got them last March, what would that be, 2018. And my goal was to wear them 100 times and then soak them and see what happens. So it's gonna be a four, four stages really that I'm doing. The first stage, I'm gonna soak them in a bathtub in cold water. Second stage, I'm gonna pull them out, uh, shake them off a little bit, and then I wrap them up in a towel uh, and soak up all that extra water. Uh, third step, I'm just gonna hang them right over the curtain rod, uh, right up there. And then the fourth step, when they're about 80% dry, 75%, uh, I'm no mathematician, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, the last like 20, 25% of the drying process, I'm gonna put them on so when they shrink, they fit to my body and it's supposed to give you a really nice custom fit to these jeans, all right? So I'm gonna turn the camera off. I'm gonna cut back to what I'm doing in a second and let's get started, all right? Thanks for tuning in. All right, so just like a, a before shot here, it's kind of, you know, show the spider web and, and the, the whiskers and all that stuff that people are into because, you know, part of making these jeans your own is getting your own little custom fades going. So what I really like with Brave Stars is that this patch is raw leather. So this has kind of changed in color uh, over time uh, based on, you know, what, what your style is, what you're wearing and stuff like that. It's definitely darkened up quite a bit. It's just really cool. And again, these are made in the USA. I really love these jeans. Um, you know they're Brave Stars because they have a little start uh, right there. But anyway, let's take a look. You know, like before wash right here, we got like some wallet fades. I don't know why it's not focusing. And we got like our wallet fade going there. We got like, you know, stacking up like right there. We got our little creases going, so that's going to look nice. I always kind of flip these around real quick before we throw them in the drink. Um, uh, during the lifetime of these jeans, I upgraded from a 5S to, I think I have a 7 right now. That's kind of funny. You see the, the progression of a cell phone. You know, 20 years ago, people would not have that. They'd be like, what the fuck is that? Anyway, uh, I got like the whiskering right here. You know, people are not, you got the fades going on. So really what, what we're going for here is, you know, a lot of people spend a lot of money for pre-distressed jeans, but it's kind of fun. You get these jeans really stiff. Uh, when you first buy them, you got like these pocket fades going off and going in and out. And, uh, you know, they're really stiff. And as the lifetime goes on, they start to break in. And it's kind of your own jeans. Got a little pocket knife thing here. I got a pocket knife for Christmas. So that fade's not as fresh, but still. And here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna throw it in the drink, right in the bathtub. There is nothing fancy about this, all right? Some people get all crazy and say you gotta have your firstborn child's butt wiped all over it to keep it nice and smooth. Or, you know, go see some kind of shaman. Motherfuckers, this is denim, all right? Um, I'm not putting it in the washing machine because the spin cycle will get this raw down and real streaky, all right? And I, I don't want streaks in my jeans. And so we're gonna soak it in here for an hour. I'm gonna throw a few items on top just to, to weight it down. You know, like no big deal. Um, the great thing about being married and having kids is there's all kinds of hair product and stuff floating around in my, in my tub. So just grab like a few different things. You know, you just want to get the jeans submerged. You just want to get them under that water so that they really soak. And the goal is, you know, to kind of just to soak them in there for about an hour. All right, there's no science to this. All right, so don't overthink this shit. Um, soak them in there for about an hour and pull them out. And you know, if there's any really dirty spots on there, I just recommend doing a little spot clean and you'll be able to see when we pull these out in about an hour. So hope you guys tune back in for the next part. I'm gonna throw a few more things on there so it just really sinks down. And I guess I'm gonna give it an hour. I'll come back and we'll see what it does. Talk to you soon. All right, now I forgot to mention one thing. Flip your denim inside out before putting it in the tub. Uh, I did this like 10 minutes after I threw it in there, so you know, my bad. Oh yeah, and add the little floating Christmas duck for fun. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And they're gonna soak for about an hour or two, up to you, and we'll be back. All right, so got them rolled up in there. I'm just gonna show you. I'm gonna, well, hopefully I can unroll it. Can I talk to them? And I'm just gonna unroll it. And what that does, it just takes out a lot of that extra water. And you just take the And so then we hang it up here. Uh-huh. Now when you hang it up, 
Make sure you get all the creases out of your denim because otherwise they're gonna dry with those creases, all right? It's gonna look, look, what's gonna look bad? You're gonna have these fade, crease fades. And so, I can talk to them too. And yeah, my daughter is over here helping out too. She's awesome. We're just gonna let these dry. In about a couple hours, I'm gonna come back up. I'm gonna check it out. And like I said, I'm gonna put them back on and we'll let them dry on my body. And we'll see how it goes. Bye. All right, everybody, uh, welcome back. So it's the next day. <clears throat> I wore the denim around last night, but I really just didn't feel like boring you with filming that, of me just kind of walking around. Uh, one piece of advice, if you do put the denim on and it's pretty wet, I try to avoid squatting and, and kneeling, or kneeling and stuff like that for a little bit because if you do too much of that, you kind of get these blown out knee bags on your jeans and they look pretty weak. Uh, but anyway, let's kind of take a look at what the denim looks like now after it's dried and been worn. And I'm going to put it on and I'll show you what it looks like then too. So let's take a look. Right, so as you can see kind of from a distance, it definitely in my eyes looks way more faded in certain spots than it did yesterday. So let's kind of zoom in here. And you know, we got like the cell phone fades. Uh, you got the whiskers going on, which are looking pretty good. Uh, and the white background, sorry about my camera right now. But yeah, so, you know, I got a little fading. The denim is definitely a little more of a lighter indigo right now than it was uh, before I threw them in there. Uh, one more thing. Um, I had these jeans in, in, the, in the bathtub. Um, right side out like this for like an hour guys all right um and then i turned them inside out for the second hour it did not streak it didn't mess up my denim it wasn't a washing machine so honestly i think it didn't really fucking matter anyway let's take a look um got the patch my favorite part faded a little more uh pretty cool you know i got the wallet going on again just like kind of take a look you can see the denim is a little lighter and they're starting to look a little bit more like you know the blue jeans a lot of people buy uh, but i really like the dark jeans so i'm glad it stayed uh, pretty dark also when you set your cuffs uh, the first time just remember guys when you come back after washing these uh, those cuff creases they're still going to be there um, you know and they're already ripped a little bit like just from wear and tear oh, i forgot to show this like you know a little selvage denim right here is getting a little fades faded from being on the bottom uh, same with over here but anyway remember when you set those creases the first time when you get these jeans whatever whatever kind of raw denim you buy or heavy denim uh, those creases are going to stay so i'm going to throw these on and i'll just kind of do a quick 360 with them on to show you what they look like and i'll be back all right so here they are this is uh here for me. so here they are this is what they look like uh, after they dried I think they kind of have a nicer distressed look than before. They're not just all uh, like a real solid dark blue. And if I get a little closer, you can kind of see what I mean. They got a little more character, I think. Uh, you know, put them in the light, they look really good. So yeah, I mean, overall, I'm really impressed. I think uh, another 100 wears and I'll give them another soak. Maybe I'll even throw them in the washer and uh, take them out before the spin cycle, like I said, so it doesn't streak. Um, but yeah, I'm really satisfied with these Brave Star. I'll definitely be ordering another pair. Uh, I'm probably going to go with the blue collar slim straight this time. Uh, these are the slim tapers. They kind of have a really nice uh, taper. It's almost skinny jean, but not too skinny because I'm not really a fan of that. But yeah, anyway, I uh, hope you guys like this demo, whatever you want to call it. I hope it helped out. And yeah, see you guys later.